right, guys. Good morning, and uh, welcome again. Today we're doing some more Spider-Man concept art viewage. And um, yeah, yesterday we went through a lot of artwork from the team from, uh, you know, spanning probably three or four years worth of work. And this time, let's let's do a little bit more. I mean, there's so much work, I couldn't even cover it in an hour plus. So let's keep going here. Uh, all right. So today I want to look at some of the character work and there's there's a lot guys there's so much in first let's look at the on animate little article there where was it on animation where the hell did you go on... they they did such a good job collecting all this crap i i didn't even know there was this much work um and a lot of these I haven't even seen yet because they wow all right so we covered all this stuff yesterday and a lot of backgrounds a lot of paintings a lot of just super gorgeous paintings and a little bit of character stuff too but we've got more um here I'll skip down here for a second So first, I want to look at some of the earlier work from, uh, I guess, the first version of the characters. And this guy, Jesus Iglesias, was the um, main character designer for the time that I was working on the show. And he is a, a Spanish comic book artist. And you can tell comic book art artists because they they draw the best they they draw better than they draw better than designers they draw better than animators I mean maybe not better than animators but they have the most they have way more mileage than designers do I feel like in general and so I always feel really shitty when I look at comic book artist work because it's so damn good um so th these are some earlier versions of Spider-Gwen and Genki. Um, he, we had many versions where he was more rotund, and then we had some versions that where he's like just skinny. And um, she look the the kids look a little bit younger in this version too. We you know they were aging up, aging down. <laughs> and here's an old Miles. Here's a hipster Genki. <laughs> um, yeah, I love these really thick uh, kind of calligraphy marks that that Jesus uses for his drawings. And Jesus is also one of those guys that does the squiggles really, really well. Um, all the this hair business. Um, let me find my pen here. Where is my pen? By the way, guys, the link to this work is in the description if you want to look at it yourself. Peruse at your own pace. I can't find my pen. Um, anyway, so let's keep going. He did some green goblins as well. Comic book artists also do really nice uh, thick black uh, shadow shapes and that's always fun to look at how they treat those those shadows and simplify them into big you know giant shadows and what I'm trying always trying to learn from that <laughs> um, I had the opportunity to uh, work on some of Jesus's designs for Prowler and try to develop some of the 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 boots and the the gloves so and just in the process of you know copying some of his sketches and trying to figure out feel the feeling of the d design that he had created I, th I feel like I learned a lot um, 
just by going over some of his lines in preparation for my own design so yeah this guy is crazy good some green goblin <laughs> this kind of gypsy goblin <laughs> <laughs> oh man I don't remember if I don't think he has the like the bells in the movie but that it's a nice little detail here's Uncle Aaron looking suave <laughs> oh man Uncle Aaron is a man of many talents, <laughs> and many <laughs> occupations. I love this this version of him. He's not quite as a uh, movie star looking as the as the final version, but <laughs> I like his uh, his cheek pockets there. And here's some kingpins. Has Jesus did about a billion different kingpins. <laughs> and, oh man, I love that uh, walking sticks there. Such a cool detail. These drawings are really minimal, you know? It's not too many he's leaving a lot of lines blank um, letting them disappear but the lines that are there are so accurate and so put in the right place just like just to give you enough information where you as a viewer can finish it off you, you can imagine what the rest of it is and it's it's really satisfying drawing like the top of his head here disappears but I mean I I feel like that makes it more fun to to look at no lines for the arms it's it's really cool oh hey Igor hey Vikrant morning Cena morning everywhere Hi, Dee Dee. Um, let's see. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah, they, these guys are masters. They can spin the character around from any view and nail it every single time. And those fingers. This is his vacation outfit, I guess. Spider Gwen Stacy. Or Gwanda. Wanda. <laughs> yeah, I think they're definitely younger in this version. In this parallel universe here. Man, that's so great. this full screen here there we go get some uh, pedestrians <laughs> New York City style <laughs> mixed with slightly European <laughs> or slightly Spanish sensibilities I guess Oh man, I love that white hat there. <laughs> I 
This guy looks Haitian on the right for some reason. Some Peter Parker. Is this Burrito Parker? Oh no, it's, or is it just a homeless dude? Can't tell. Man, those eyebrows. This is Emo Parker. <laughs> Man, look how everything is really nice and relaxed and like swoopy and droopy and flop floppy and then down here it's like Ch -ch -ch -ch. it it really has rhythm and just energy like that it's so hard to do Oh man, look at him, so handsome and confident. He looks like a real superhero, even in shorts. But I can't even tie my shoes drunk. <laughs> I can relate, Miles. Can relate. <laughs> Body more like a rock climber, maybe classical ballet. Oh man, I love this tombstone sketch. I love that that like sort of pig pig nose feature. Manojopoyas, which if you're Spanish, I guess you know um what did they say that was? It means bouquet of a bouquet of dicks or something like that. Apparently, if you have if you have dick shaped fingers, that's what you that's what you call it in Spanish. Bat ears. Oh wow. Yeah, this thing is so cool. <laughs> I like this tombstone because he looks like. Uh, I don't know, he looks kind of slick and sophisticated. But then he also has these really weird, like, pig nose features at the same time. It's an interesting combo. I think this is on me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. I love how this looks like a, like a, a skull, kind of. Looks like kind of looks like he has a beard here. I don't know about that shadow. <laughs> oh, okay, this is the um, the one from Alberto's painting here. <laughs> Super lanky. <laughs> See how he lets the uh, the ri like the wrist just disappears here, but then it you you get it because the hand pops back in and or like the hand disappears here or I guess it's in there. But I mean I love when he does that. Just same thing here. He just lets the the lines disappear <laughs> here and there. I need to work on that. Oh man, look at that! Crazy. Oh, 
Oh man. Yeah, so Jesus, this isn't even Let's look at a little bit more Jesus. One second here. No, actually this is Alberto's prowler. Um but let's see. Jesus did a bunch of prowlers too. Really cool. Love, gotta love those claws, man. Those knuckles. Uh, Miles, Bob. Too much Latin character. <laughs> abort, abort. <laughs> Too much J Lo. Okay, I love all these notes from these guys. Oh yeah, I think we were gonna have Mickey Rourke, and then they were gonna try to get Danny Trejo, Trejo for Scorpion. I'm not sure who it was in the end. <laughs> like uh, Navy Seals or Spider Man or. Al Kilmer. And this is something special here. This is um, actually, this is Robert Valley doing a couple characters in the very, very beginning of the project. Um, because uh, Alberto and Robert have worked together on many, many projects. Um, all the way from back from the Beatle, Beatles rock band um, intro and I don't know they've probably been working together for like years before that but yeah so we had some Robert Valley versions you can definitely see the really weird proportions that he's known for here I like the design but they feel too much like a caricature would love you push it a bit more and normalize proportions okay so Alberto's complaining that it's a little bit too crazy if we build this in 3D, I would see problems with neck. Give enough space in the face so the features fit well. All right, okay. Well, I mean, yeah. Oh, this is back to um, Jesus, I think. Yeah, this is definitely his. Doc Ock was, you know, going to be male in the beginning. <laughs> going to be a hippie. Or this isn't a hippie, but there was a hippie version also. Um... I think this is the Danny Trejo uh, scorpion here. <laughs> That's so ridiculous. <laughs> I would be grumpy too if I was in that suit. <laughs> a little bit more of a an older tombstone maybe. Grandpa Tombstone. All right, so that's um, that's that. There was some more. There was definitely some more uh, Robert Valley stuff. Or shit. Crap. He did some really, really, really lanky um, Miles sketches, but. You could probably imagine them. They're just super stretched out. Um, let's see. So, yeah, and then I think uh, there's some stuff. Oh my god, so much work, guys. This is how much these people draw. Jim Mafood. I, I didn't get to work with him, but 
And I haven't even seen these yet. This is pretty cool. Spite SPDR. Really emotional. I mean, not emotional, but very dynamic sketches here. Cool. He looks like a comic book. I should know this, but he looks like a comic book guy. He's, he's famous, right? Jim Mafood. Really cool sketches. I like his scribbles, his wiggles, and he's, he's definitely got the, he's pro scribbler. <laughs> nice. Then we got Brittany Myers. Didn't get get to work with her, but these look really cool. Oh, you can't make them bigger. I want to zoom in. Let me zoom in. No. Oh. oh, here we are. These are super detailed for background characters. These look more detailed than some of uh, <laughs> Jesus's like main character sketches. These are really nice. New York style. Are these like different neighborhoods maybe? Looks like. And Florent, a guy. Oh. A guy, a guy, Augie. Sorry, I don't, cannot pronounce anything. Whoa, this is a pretty different style here. Hmm. Oh, there we go. Yeah, sweet. So I, I guess, is that his design? And this one too. Cool. Then Tony, Tony's a, a Sony guy. And he's been there for a while. I didn't, he, I think he came on the project after I was gone already, but yeah, so he's, he's taking, um, Jesus's prowler and kind of detailing up the boots and the, and the gloves a little bit. Yeah. Nice. Nice poses. <laughs> All right, and then this must be his take on the prowler. More, a little more sci-fi, a bit more gear. But, but it's still got the claws, man. Those claws, you cannot deny the claws. And that's Alberto's, I don't know what it's doing in this section. This looks like Shiyun. Cool. Some SPDR. Nice. Looks very spider like. Dope, dope. And then who else we got here? John Puglisi. I didn't get to work with John. Very 
pretty nice. Yeah, we had a great story team. Writers and the borders are really good. Um, oh, sorry. Last but not least, let's look at um, Shiyun. So Shiyun came in after um, I was gone. So unfortunately, I didn't get to work with him. But you know, Shiyun is a legend in the animation in industry, and he's worked on a ton of you know really successful movies. So. I think he basically went through and did a pass on every character and and they were like okay this is the one so but you can still see some of the influence of Jesus's work in here too so it's kind of like a collaborative thing here I think this is um, Rio Miles's mom and we got Uncle Aaron <laughs> this is uh, Shiyun's signature uh, face. <laughs> he always does that weird mouth. And then not me. It's a really great design. Don't want to piss her off. Jefferson. That's a really great pose too. But yeah, I mean these guys, they can draw the character from any any angle, any pose, any emotion. It's pretty amazing. Man, the modelers did a really great job of capturing this design. It's like it's perfect the way it came out. This is Genki. Man, he 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 had a a really big part in the movie. It's kind of a little bit sad that he got cut out, but it's all right. Maybe that's for another movie. Yeah. <laughs> So cool. I love that he's still holding his coffee or his tea, I guess. I feel like he would be a coffee guy, no? Wow. Oh, baby Miles. Oh, that's cool. Man, that's a great sketch. A little Tachikoma esque. Some anime. Uh, I mean the the real SPDR comic is based pretty heavily based on uh, Evangelion, so it's cool to see the anime reference carrying through there. There's Penny and Kingpin. I really like that they chose to push the shoulders on Kingpin. Just there were a lot of shots in the movie where it's it's just his head and his his um, body kind of like fills up the whole frame of the shot, which I thought was really cool. Mm -hmm. There we go, that's based off Alberto's painting. That One of those first paintings that really kind of carried through the whole movie.
Ooh, this is the new scorpion. Much more athletic looking. Nice. Dr. Octavius. This is a really cool design too. Well, this kind of looks like um that uh Cara de Levine that model. <laughs> this one's funny. Oh shit. I kind of like these ones too. Nice and droopy. <laughs> All right, so that's Shiyun. Shiyun, um, yeah. Shiyun pretty much did all the final uh, characters that you see on the screen. So that's pretty, pretty huge, pretty cool. And then this is, um, who is this? Oh, Tony. Wait, were we looking at the wrong work for Tony? Oh yeah, Tony is um, in the 3D department. He did a pass at the collider. And um, yeah, they, they ended up making it a lot longer and bigger of a space. And there, this is their control room for the collider. Alchemax. Some Archviz action. Yeah, and sometimes for these kind of models, you have to do little boring call out charts where you, you know, just give everybody the rundown of what's happening and putting notes together. This is a very, very clean New York subway station. <laughs> it looks, it looks brand new. Visions Academy. Apparently, this Visions Bridge is a real, that's a real thing in uh, Brooklyn, but I don't think it's a school. It's maybe it's like a hospital or something else. That's really nice model of Miles's room. And what else we got here? There's Sheen, there's Seuss. Ah, too bad they don't have any Rob Valley up here. I don't think he posted any. <laughs> um, and then here's some storyboard stuff, guys. Um, Redo, Eva, Louis Del Carmen, Miguel. Miguel was there really early on, also. He stuck through the whole project see what he did yeah that's a pretty intense storyboard did you see what he did <laughs> I would have died <laughs> oh what a freak Miles? <laughs> 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 help 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 <laughs> yeah. 
Luis Miguel. Omar Smith. Wow. Yeah, so guys, this is a whole nother art form. Because one, it's one thing to have a sketch, but to translate it into 3D properly, and it looks just like the sketches. Really, really difficult. So, these guys are geniuses. Oh man, that's an intense model. <laughs> All right. So anyway, I think that's it. Um, unless you guys have any questions about the movie or making it I think that's all the artwork I wanted to look at today I hope you guys are enjoying these little streams um, again the the link is in the description here if you want to check these out pass it around oh yeah and, you, and we looked at these yesterday but these were Alberto's um, designs for character designs but <laughs> anyway and his original green goblin man oh crazy um have I done any storyboarding I, I took a couple storyboarding classes I actually took one class with Louis Del Carmen who uh he, he did some storyboards on this project but um yeah it's it's pretty fun. I, I like storyboarding, but I, I haven't done any more of it. Um, hey, Charlie, thank you. Thanks for the kind words. Um, George Castro says, what happened after you finished working on this? You have to go look for another job. Is that the life of a concept artist? Well, I mean, yeah, pretty much. Each, each uh, project ends eventually, and then you kind of take a little break maybe and then jump on it again if, if there's more work um so right after alberto left this project he ended up getting that that next project at netflix so i mean it was like a matter of maybe a month or so he, he already had another project lined up so then i ended up um, working with him on that one but I mean, it's basically when you when you work on a project, you you know you meet an, a team, and then basically any anywhere that team goes, if they you know we're all going to split off after that project, but if somebody remembers your work and they they liked working with you, then they'll probably just call you up if they need help on their new project, or. Um, and if you're really lucky, you get to work with the same people again on the next project. That's that's always a real treat because, I mean, it's cool because then you're sort of, you know each other and you you can, you know, you've got some history and you can kind of grow that way. Um, Navidad says, is there any project like this you can announce besides Love, Death, and Robots? Well, yeah, Love, Death, and Robots is the is the next one that's coming out soon I think it's March 15th and I'm really really excited about that one because there's a lot of paintings in there that are at this level um, we had Yun, Yun Ling working on it Peter Chan did some work and um, of course Alberto um, uh, I know I'm forgetting some painters but yeah I, I'm excited because because there's there's some of this type of work in there also um oh thanks thanks charlie Jeez, that's super generous um uh, thank you um let's see is uh oh and also lego 2 lego movie 2 is i think it's just released right now 
I, I worked on it a little bit, but um, really early on. So I, di I didn't, I don't think any of my designs made it through to the, to the final movie, but I have to double check. I did I did some like Mad Max vehicles and like a Mad Max Unikitty, but I don't know if it's in there. <laughs> I have to I have to check. Um Burbank says, Have you ever worked with anyone you've taught? Uh not I I have. Yeah, I have. Um there's this one guy who I taught who ended up interning with, with me. Um, but I don't think I've been teaching long enough for that to happen very often, but I, I really, that would be really cool. I hope I, I get to work with people that have been in, in classes. <laughs> um, oh, oh, thanks. Thanks Burbank. Appreciate it. Oh, I'll, I'll add it to the, uh, the instant coffee pot. <laughs> Um, let's see, Is, uh, let's see, Charlie had some surgery done a couple weeks ago in recovery mode and will be back to my best shortly. Uh, shoot. All right. Well, um, speedy recovery. Thanks for, uh, I guess, thanks for dropping in while you're, I guess maybe you're <laughs> just relaxing at home now, trying to kill time. Uh, Igor says, some of our top Russian artists also did some work for Love, Death, and Robots. Yeah. Um, would love to... I, I, I can't wait for when it comes out and people start to um, drop their artwork on, on the internet. I, I really want to see what ev everyone's been up to on that project. Um, do, do, do. All right. Okay, guys. Well... I guess that's it. Um, we'll try to do some modeling or some actual work next time on the on the stream. But I wanted to, I guess, kind of commemorate that we got this award, and I guess it's pretty cool. It's, it doesn't happen that often, so I wanted to just share all the work with you guys again, and I think it's just nice to do that. Just take a minute and and look at things. <laughs> Um, uh, did it have a huge Netflix budget? Uh, I don't, I don't know what the budget was ex exactly. Uh, how many concept artists work on, t in total on this movie, by the way? Well, while I was there, there was, let's see, when I was there, it was me, um, Neil Ross, Yunling, Bastien, Grivet, Jessica Roche. Craig Mullins, um, Jesus, uh, there was, uh, who am I forgetting? So I would say maybe, if I'm forgetting three people, I'll say it's ten people <laughs> working uh, as concept artists. And then, oh yeah, the Raffaello and uh, Peter Chan, sorry, Peter Chan, there we go. So I'd say about ten or eleven people on my team and then after me there was a, a bunch more that worked so that there's probably total like 30 20 or 30 people most of them were off off-site Yun is off-site um, Warden Light is off-site Craig is off-site Neil Ross is off-site most of the team is off-site um, okay whoa hey thanks Igor Damn, you guys are you guys are awesome. Thank you. Um, okay, I think that's it. Thank you guys again for for checking in. Um, I'll see you again soon. Have a good day. Bye bye.